Hello, Hoppers, and welcome to a new project of mine um, that I'll be uh, kind of updating you on a, uh, throughout a couple videos, probably. Um, you may have already watched my most recent Battlefield video, uh, where somewhere towards the end I put in a little spoiler warning um, little thing where Oxygen uh, in the clan that I play with on Battlefield uh, kind of gave me this cool idea for this um, computer to make. Um, so what happened was I was actually at Fry's a few weeks ago and was walking by, uh, Fry's is an electronic store in the United States, by the way, and I was walking past the uh, motherboards and I saw a micro ATX, so a very small uh, motherboard, um, that's a recent generation, uh, with, works with all like the 4000 series, i5s and i7s and everything. Um, and Celerons and all that too, uh, that was being sold for 20 bucks and I couldn't figure out why, but I went, I'm taking that. So um, I took it and it's become this huge project now because uh, if you've already uh, read the title of this video probably, um, then you know that I am 3D printing uh, all of the parts for it. So at some point in this video, you'll actually see the printed form of uh, of this fan grill, which I which was the first test thing that I made. Um, and I've been working on um, getting the measurements right for, and everything for the motherboard plate and uh, rear bracket and all that. Uh, I haven't really started making the, the case itself yet, but uh, that's, that's coming up soon. Um, anyway, I'm trying to keep this intro a little bit short because uh, I did tend to ramble whew, in all the videos uh, following this <laughs> that are all going to be edited together in a string. So this might end up being a bit long. Uh, feel free to like skim through this if you want. Um, and I, I, I hope that uh, it, it piques your interest. I've been uh, doing some... Uh, pretty unusual things making this since I'm 3D printing it and have like complete control over what goes into it and all that. Uh, it's been kind of a really fun project and I can't wait to see it finished. It's it's already really, really uh, a nifty little system that I've got together. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye Hoppers. Hello Hoppers! Um, sorry for the noise if you can hear all that racket. Um, if you follow me on my other channel, uh, you may have seen a video with me complaining about a server. Um, that was in the bathroom. It's now been moved to a closet that has to keep the door open so that it doesn't overheat. I've closed the door. I want that thing to burn up. <laughs> anyway, I'm very tired. Um, but I have something uh, that has come in the mail. Um, I've run into a bit of a snag with my printer, with my printer, with my, my, my computer that I'm printing um, the case for. Um, the thing inside it, the CPU, <laughs> is not currently compatible with the motherboard. I have to update the BIOS, but to do that I have to put some other sort of CPU in it. So I'm going to have to find some sort of Celeron or something somewhere to make that happen. Uh, because the i5-4690 that I put in it um, just won't function yet. Anyway, one of the other parts for my computer came today. It is the Tontec blah 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 Insert name here. Um, yeah, it's a Tontec 7-inch IPS display. I haven't actually tried it yet. Um, I'm kind of curious to uh, see how it goes, but uh, it gave him this very basic case, um, and it's it's got no plastic shield or casing around it. It's very very bare bones, um, and it's going to serve as like the built-in screen in the three D printed case that I'm making. Um, I would I, I do wish I had the other pieces to show you, but I didn't bring them to work with me, and I'm very sleepy. Um, so. Other than the thing that I've hopefully just showed on camera, with me pulling out the beautiful parts, probably in bubble wrap still because I've already peeped, um, that is it for now. I hope that this goes well. Uh, I've got all the pieces together, I just need to get a cheapo processor in there to update the BIOS. Until next time, I'm right away! Hello again, Hoppers, and welcome back to Ellie is what I've decided to name this computer. If you can get that reference and I haven't already told it to you in person or on TeamSpeak, then I applaud you because I um, I don't think I would ever get the reference either. Anyway, um, this is Ellie right here. She is actually complete. Um, obviously, we're missing a bit of uh, case functionality, um, but it is a complete little system um, and it is beautiful and magniflorious. Uh, you may have noticed um, that I have a bit of plastic, plastic, glassware, um, magnets, tape on my glasses right now. Uh, <laughs> I, I have been a little irresponsible and uh, have not even attempted to get my glasses replaced. Instead, spending my money on a computer that I have no real need for. And my intention is to use it at work where they've already promised to buy me one anyway. Ah, anyway, none of that. Extra nonsense and fuckery. 
let's get to looking at the computer, shall we? So, I have literally no recollection of whether or not I have shown this off yet, but this is the first test piece that um, I printed just to make sure that I was capable of actually printing something out at the correct size for my, uh, just for anything really, just be calibrated. And I did, so I have a beautiful little Adahop green logo, excuse me, uh, thing that I've got printed out. Um, I may end up printing out this whole thing in just regular ABS plastic, I'm not really sure. I was thinking about doing some like cool like carbon fiber reinforced stuff and everything but it's a lot of money and I've already spent way more than I expected to on this computer. <laughs> so uh, a little bit about what's in it. Um, got new fans and stuff like that. Uh, new power supply. Lots of new stuff. I plan to use a lot more uh, old stuff than I actually ended up doing partially because of power needs and blah blah blah. I just wanted it. I don't know. It, it was turning into this big project and I wanted it to all be nice. So um, yeah. This is one of my old uh, graphics cards right here. Uh, it's a 560 Ti, just regular thing from several years ago. Seems to work great though, especially with the screen on it. I'll show you the screen in a second, it's pretty cool. Um, I've got a little 256 gig uh, SSD down here. It seems to be going very snappy and fast. Um, some Kingston HyperX RAM and a i5-4690, yes, uh, processor. So it's actually a really snappy little system. It works great. Um, looking at different ways to compress this down further um, about how to like just arrange this in a way that will make it all fit. I may or may not take out this little um, what's it called? Motherboard plate <laughs> underneath it. Whoa I look like old and disgusting and gross and tired. Ah. Anyway, um, yes I've got a neat little fan controller, which I've never actually owned one of these before. I've always let my motherboard actually, you know, do stuff with them, so it'll be interesting having to run these myself. Uh, but I, I just kind of wanted to add little funky little details to this and everything. Um, and as I mentioned in, I think, a previous video, I do plan on having a little screen, like this one right here, actually mounted um, to the board, not to the board, but like to, as part of the uh, case that I'm uh, making and uh, it's actually right now printing in the printer over there um, is a little frame that I've modeled for it that will hopefully um, hopefully fit perfectly with little notches on it to hold it in we'll see even a little like little clip for the for the wire and everything it's got about an hour left on that print so we'll see if that comes out um, anyway uh, Beyond these two things, I haven't really printed anything. Uh, I'm still kind of working on the design. If you have any suggestions for me, because hopefully I'll stop... Um, I'll actually get these put together into a video so that you can actually see something. Um, again, apologies for the Darth of uh, videos lately. Anyway, uh, looks like for some reason this keyboard's getting power even though the system's not on. So let's go ahead and turn on the computer, shall we? So, obviously, it's not all put together yet. Um, I do have, well, I guess you can't even see that. Let's see. This is a very cheap tripod from my work. I'm not actually using one of my own. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, I do at least have all the cables managed in some way. Um, they're just kind of tied together for now. Um, and that's why it's kind of at the edge of the table, because there's no space underneath it right now. So obviously I'll, I'll have it arranged a little bit differently later. I just wanted it to all be very tight for when I was moving it uh, here, so that I could have it next to the printer while the printer is working, just as, so I could see immediately if it was all put together. Anyway, there's no power switch on here yet. I haven't actually put any of those sorts of things on it yet. I think I need to buy some. I've, I've looked them up. They're pretty cheap again for about five bucks, along with all the power LEDs and everything. But what I'm going to do is turn on the power. First, I will show you up close the computer so that blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, good. All right, so this is a little bit difficult because, um, and sorry if the noise of the printer is a little bit loud, but um, the this camera that I'm using right now is a little bit lacking in the wide angle view sort of thing, so I've got to stay a little bit far back from this. I'm about, oh, the camera's probably a foot and a half away from, from the board right now. Anyway, uh, maybe a foot. Um, I just wanted to show you everything close up. Um, I'll show it again when it's actually turned on, but uh, just so you can, for any of you nerds out there, you could actually see the real parts that I'm using. I just got a cheap uh, Thermaltake power supply um, and little pieces like that. This is actually only 4 gigs of DDR3 um, right now. I can bump it up to 16, but I'll probably only bump it up to 8 because there's not going to be much of a need for this computer. Um, I've got a nice little wireless in card stuck in the back here. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a cute little system. Anyway, since there is no power button right now, 
this is what I must do. I've got... Whoops. Come on, focus. All right, I've switched modes. Hopefully it's uh, it's actually able to focus correctly now and not wobble Whoa, quite so much. Um, <laughs> yep, he giggled. Anyway, I'm trying desperately to get all this recorded before I run out of space, uh, or not space, before I run out of battery. I've only got about 11, 11 minutes left and I'm running out of um, faith that I can do so. Anyway, these pins that I focused on here are um, the power and reset button and hard drive light and all sort of stuff. Uh, for the front of the computer, um, obviously there's nothing plugged into them yet, so I don't ha yet have a power button. So, by the way, there's the SSD. Uh, so, what I have to do right now, excuse the imminent wobble, uh, is touch the leads with this little screwdriver, or anything metal really, to bloop, get it to turn on. So, it has actually started booting up immediately. Um, it is a very nice little, little system. And... Uh, if this is anything like before, uh, you will see a very shaky, very nervous system. I, it's, it's a little camera shy, I'm sorry. It's actually the printer over here just kind of doing its thing. Um, anyway, it's booted up. That's actually a little bit slower than it has been going. Um, the, the first few times I restarted it were just shocking. Like, the screen went black and came back again and it had already restarted. I was like, what's happening? Anyway, <laughs> um, as you can see, I've got this itty bitty tiny display here. Let's see if we can keep the white focus, or the white balance, um, balanced, uh, if I pull back a bit. But, uh, yeah, this tiny little 7-inch IPS screen is actually really nice. Look at this, look at this viewing angle on it. Um, you can go pretty far, uh, and still be able to see everything on it, so I'm rather pleased. It's really pretty. Um, yeah. So, and hopefully just in a minute here, I'll be able to pull out, uh-oh, it looks like it's warping slightly, if you see this here. Which hasn't been a problem yet in this in this printer. Oop. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to fix that if if I need to, because or hopefully I, I left enough uh, tolerance in my design so that that won't matter. But uh, oof, that's not that's not such a good thing there. Anyway, um, I'm about to run out of battery on this thing, and I'm starting to ramble quite a lot. So I hope that you are interested and enjoyed this so far. I certainly am. I'm thinking maybe have this screen, this little seven inch. Um, HD screen, have, have it like, uh, I don't know, like there, like slanted, like in the front, and have my fans around, maybe have little be speakers internally. Um, there are going to be some internal other components. I may have uh, internal USB ports just to power certain things or something. Uh, but yeah, I am super excited. I'll see you next time. Okay, just a short update a little while later. Probably a lot easier to hear me now. Um, the building completed, so I took it out. Um, I d remember I did mention that it warped a little bit, but uh, so the fit isn't quite perfect, but uh, it still got in there pretty well. Um, as you can see, I'm just testing how it looks on different games and everything. And um, while this is kind of awkward since the controls are over there, I can try to reach across, and yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty nice. I think I'm pretty sure this is on maximum. Uh, this game is very well optimized, so that's not at all a good test of the system at all. But, um, it's really pretty and I wanted to see it on the screen. Um, sorry for the reflections, I'm fighting reflections on both the camera and on the screen, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Um, so yeah, it, it didn't fit quite exactly right, you can see on this corner closest to you that it's a little bit rounded right there, yeah. Um, so it might, it, I may have to reprint this, um, for now I'm just trying to, you know, see how this works inside of here. Uh, this is an intentional, um, kind of stepped edge on it though because I, I intend for this to like insert from behind from within uh, the case uh, so that it can just attach and, and not really like be able to be accidentally knocked out or something. Um, I put a little bit of extra, I, I, I do have these little notches on it um, to actually hold in the screen but since it warps slightly uh, nothing is fitting exactly the way I designed it. Uh, this clip is working well though uh, to hold the wire off to the side. Um, I did put a little bit of tape on it, didn't really need it um, just for my own you know peace of mind, especially to hold uh, the wire down is what it's really for, but I wanted to put it all the way across because I like this tape. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm actually pretty pleased with this. Uh, it seems to be working really well. Also, I failed to mention, uh, this is the the buttons set up for it, so it's actually got a whole like little menu system. I don't know if I'm going to have this set up on the front or back or anything, but um, if I wanted I could hook some external uh, signal into this. Ow, just shocked myself, that was cool. Um, so there's 
two different AV signals, VGA and HDMI, which is actually pretty cool. And I can do all like the normal settings on it in the uh, little built-in menu thing if I desired. Ow! Did I keep poking myself. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> this video, never-ending video. Hopefully I've finished it at this point. We'll see how I actually end up editing this.